we're going to take a quick look at some of the features and registration. And we'll start with browsing for classes just because it has some functionality that exists no matter where you're working in the interface. Um, in our search, we can search any number of ways. I'm going to search for Gen Ed. Simply by typing GE, I get everything that's Gen Ed here. I'll search for Natural Sciences. And I get some pretty visual results here. Uh, you'll notice courses that are full are pretty clear. And we'll notice courses that are linked are indicated pretty clearly as well as our schedules. You hover over any of those and you'll get more detail. We can sort. If we want to sort by subject or if we want to sort by course number, we can do that as well. We see that there's 28 results, but we're only showing 10 per page right now, so I want to see them all. I'm going to update to 50. So I can then scroll through all the results. When you have linked courses, you can click the View Linked button, and that will show you the linked activity or lab and its meeting pattern as well. In any of the results, um, there are hyperlinks on instructor information if you need to get a hold of the instructor. And there's also information relative to each course, including bookstore links, course description, attributes, and restrictions. Prerequisites are usually listed in the course description, but they're also listed here explicitly as well. And again, if there are link sections, that'll show here too. When it comes time to register, you simply select your term, and you've got several different ways that you can go about registering. First thing you'll want to notice is that you can control panels. So this is a visual layout of your schedule. This is your summary area. It acts kind of like a shopping cart of sorts. And you can hide this if you don't want to look at it at the moment. So here we can search for subjects, and we can do multiple at a time. If we want to search for both art and music, we can do so. And again, when we get results, we can sort them by course number, subject, anything we see fit, get the information we need. If we want to go ahead and register for a course, we're going to click Add. And you'll see that pops up your summary area and gives you a, an idea of where that will lie on the schedule. And you can put together a schedule just like this. And when you're ready to register, you just go ahead and click Submit. You can also enter CRNs. So if you did research beforehand and you know the CRNs for the classes you want, you can do that. You can also register from plans, whether you create one for yourself in the Plan Ahead area, or you create one from a DegreeWorks plan in the Plan Ahead area, or you work directly off of a DegreeWorks plan in this area. You also have Schedule and Options. Again, all information about the course is available here, including the bookstore link. Now we can look at schedule details, instructor contact information, and everything else. We can also email the schedule to ourselves or anyone that we want. Another handy feature that we have in Register for Classes is called the Conditional Add Drop. And what that is, is if you want to add a course that has a time conflict with something you already have, you might not want to risk dropping what you already have on your schedule. So what you do in that case is check conditional add drop. And it will only drop the course that you have on the condition that you can successfully add the course that you want. Another feature that we have has to do with linked courses. So when linked courses show up in your results, you can view the link sections and you'll see all the options available and 
rather than add them one at a time, you can pick the combination that you like best, click Add All. For more information, tips and tricks, visit oswego.edu slash registrar.